Hey, welcome to the show. It's Twin Tiers Basketball tonight. He's Josh Getzoff of Andy Balnowski. And tonight, Josh, it's playoffs. Ooh, let's go. Oh, it is time. Yes, let's go. We kick off with the big one of the night. The unbeaten Waverly girls headed out to face the stack champs. Oneonta, loser goes home for good. Class B semis, unbeaten Waverly versus Oneonta right here, right now. Second quarter, Oneonta up by just two. Mariah Ruff, she's tough for three, right between the eyes. Then Ruff playing the floor here. She finds Minnie Webster, and Webster says, hey, I could do that too. Hits a three of her own. Oneonta led by eight at the half. Waverly tried to hang around, but it just would not happen. This young lady did it all. Ruff off the steal, lays it in. She had 28 points. Now, we were told coaches from the Atlantic 10 were watching her tonight all night long. All Oneonta, 60 to 30. Wolverines finished the year at 18 and 1. Wow. Hey, Class C quarterfinals, BG, Bainbridge Guilford at Notre Dame. Crusader crazy studying the competition. They're smart over there at Notre Dame. <laughs> First quarter, Crusaders on the run. Sheridan Heine sign her up for track. That's good. And he leads 4 nothing. Heine. Then off the inbounds pass, Olivia May. It's Mayday. 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 It's a good day. She gets the easy <laughs> bucket. This one was out of reach early. Then later, May again off the long baseball pass. She is very very good. So is Notre Dame. They roll BG 42 to 6. Slaughter! BG did not make a single shot from the floor all night. Wow, not good there. But top seeded Lansing, they're hosting Newfield tonight, first quarter. Brittany Mikaila, she connects the Bobcats out to an early lead. But the Trojans didn't go to Lansing to see their season end. Megan Pakala. Koala Bear on the turnaround. <laughs> Newfield up by one. Koalas are tough, aren't they? They are. Mm -hmm. Then Eric and Carney going baseline, and it's upset City, baby. Newfield pulls off the stutter. 47 35. How wow. about that? Hey, Unitigo at Tioga. Class C quarters. This one was good. Third quarter, <laughs> Tigers down nine. Kelly Patselis runs the floor and makes it happen. It's 27 20, Unitigo. But here come the Spartans. Kayla Dalbot just inside the three-point line drains it. Unitigo rolling out in this one. Then it's Casey Manz Manzanero. Nice move down low for the Deuce. The Spartans come away with a hard-fought win. How about that? 34 to 24. Boy, Autobots, Decepticons, Bro. roll it out. Horse says Blue Raiders hosting Ithaca in the Class AA semis. Third quarter, Raiders up big. And you want to talk about big time. Amanda Sheefin. Sheef. Makes it happen for two. Raiders up 40-22. Horse says, come on, they've had enough. But Casey Hunter says, no sir, Mr. Miyagi, from three-point land. Whoa! It is good. <laughs> and there was plenty more. Harder from beyond the arc. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Horse says, off to the finals. They'll play Huey next Thursday night at the Broome County Arena. All right, we're going to some college basketball tonight. Cornell men hosting Penn, and the Quakers came to play. Henry Brooks knocking him down from three land. Penn down two right here. Later, Quakers up by five. Cornell trying to mount a comeback. Dom Scalfo drills the three-pointer. It's a two-point game after this, but the Quakers put a serious dent, a Richard dent, in Cornell's Ivy League title hopes tonight. It's Patrick Lucas Perry. Sounds like a movie star name. It is. That's the tray. Penn wins at 79-71, and they're getting some oatmeal, too. Nom, nom, nom. The <laughs> Cornell women on the road at the Quakers and no oatmeal either. They fall 67 to 40. Empire 8 tournament for Ithaca College. Both the men and women's team get to the finals. Sean Rossi becomes the all-time assist leader in Division III history in that men's game. Pretty cool stuff there. Women tied an all-time wins mark of 24 wins in a season. And the national dual meet wrestling tournament had Cornell versus Iowa. Big, wet, big red fall, 21 16. Boy, a great match there tonight, Josh, for Cornell. But on the ice, there was a live and well tonight also, right? Yeah, you know, at line of rank, it was rocking. Mm -hmm. Cornell men's hockey trying to mount a comeback at the end of the season after falling on some hard times. Cornell hosting RPI at line of rank, second period. Now we all know how good Andy Isles is. The engineers, they got a steady dose of him tonight. Two great saves here. He made 29 saves all together tonight for the Big Red. And, oh, yeah. His teammates helped him out. Check out this play right here. Great hockey play by Isles. Get some help from his teammates. They're shorthanded. And off the Isles save, Greg Miller goes in all alone and makes no mistake. Miller time. Cornell with another strong game late in the year. They win it 4-1. Wow, Josh. Hey, look at those fans getting crazy, too. That's really cool. Yeah. Same score on the women's side between the same two teams. The Big Red have only lost once in their last 13. 4-1 win there. And Jackals on the road, on the road tonight at Trenton, and they take it. 5-4 in a shootout. Got to mention this, Josh. A couple guys still remaining in the New York State Wrestling Tournament. Curtis Grant still alive in WrestleBacks for Elmira at 138 pounds in Division One, And also in 
Division II Ryan Walcott from Waverly, 220 pounds in the semifinals, has a chance to make it to the finals versus the Baconator. Bacon. <laughs> Zach Bacon of Hornell on the other side of the semis at 220 in Division II. Well, that's going to do it for us for now, Josh. Boy, always great to see you, man. Always. Ah, this is double handshake. I love it. <laughs> Joe's going to have a last look at the weather. We'll be right back. <laughs>